Because sodium acetate crystals grow so fast and are so easy and inexpensive to produce, they are one of the best science demonstrations for exhibiting crystal growth. This video will show just how easy they are to grow. Purchase sodium acetate online. I got two pounds from Amazon for $15. It's fairly cheap. It looks like a lot, but it has a very high solubility in water, so you can go through this quite quickly. I prefer mixing it with distilled water because it seems to be more stable. Tap water has lots of minerals in it and particulates that can spontaneously cause the mixture to crystallize. The amount of sodium acetate to mix with the water depends on how fast you want the crystals to grow. At a 2 to 1 ratio, that is twice as much sodium acetate uh, by weight to uh, uh, water, uh, they'll grow very slowly. At 5 to 1 sodium acetate to distilled water, they'll grow so fast it's hard to follow the progress. Tailor the concentrations to whatever your particular needs are. Pre-measure the water and sodium acetate you want to mix together. Pour the sodium acetate into the water. After the two have been combined, give them a stir. Cover lightly, but not tightly. Heat in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute. Stir and repeat until all of the crystals have dissolved. Then place it someplace where it won't be disturbed to cool. Once it's down to room temperature, you'll have a super saturated solution which will want to form crystals very quickly. Let's look at some examples of how concentration affects crystal growth speed. This first example is of a 2 to 1 ratio of sodium acetate to water. It grows very slowly and provides the best view of what the individual crystals look like. This ratio is probably the best for classroom demonstrations. It allows the students to get an idea of what the shape of the crystals are. All of the videos of the crystals growing are shown in actual time. They haven't been sped up or slowed down. Here's how fast the crystals grow with a 3 to 1 mixture ratio. And finally we have a 4.5 to 1 ratio. I don't recommend going higher than 5 to 1 because the supersaturated solution will almost always trip over into spontaneous crystal formation even if you don't add a seed crystal. For example, here just pouring some solution out on a glass plate caused the crystals to start forming. This can even happen to the lower concentration mixtures. For example, here's a 2 to 1 which also triggered when I poured it out. Spontaneous crystal uh, development like this may be uh, valuable if the goal is to show how unstable uh, the crystal growing solution can be. To avoid this, I prepare my samples ahead in covered petri dishes and then trigger them, as in the earlier videos, with seed crystals dropped in when I want the crystals to start forming. Let's watch a couple more. The crystals grown on this page were made using layers of the growing solution uh, that were only a sixteenth of an eighth of an inch thick. 
This shows up the crystal detail much better. These can be grown in large jars, but the crystals tend to form a solid mass which isn't very interesting. The videos of the crystals growing on this uh, YouTube video were made using polarized light. The link at the top of this page will show you how to do that. Once the crystals have formed, you don't have to so throw the solution away. Simply cover, reheat in a microwave for 30 seconds or so, depending on how large a sample was allowed to crystallize, to reliquify the solution, make sure all of the crystals are dissolved, and then let it cool and it can be used over and over again. Sodium acetate crystals are one of the simplest, easiest, and cheapest of all crystals to grow for classroom demonstrations. Best of all, they happen fast enough to hold a uh, student's attention. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful or at least entertaining. If you'd like to see more videos that I've made about growing crystals, the link at the top of this page will show you the playlist I've put together of many different crystal growing techniques. Food color can be added to the growing solution to create what looks like colored crystals. The crystals are still the same white color, but the food coloring uh, deposits on the outside of the crystals to give them a colored look. It can increase the entertainment value of the demonstration.